Ah, uh, episode 12. Ooh. Good morning, I think. I mean, you could be watching it anytime. It's morning for me. Uh, for Patreons, this is uh, released uh, right after my birthday. Those of you on YouTube, this is uh, a week after my birthday. Happy birthday to me, I guess. Uh, this coffee tastes really good. Uh, today, we are going to work on this, like, space. This is the near south side, I I guess, is what I'm calling it. If we call this the near north side, uh, maybe we'll, we'll give these names. But near north and near south side don't, they're not terrible. Uh... Yeah, I hmm. I know what I want to do, and I know what I want to do. <laughs> Let's just dive in. So one of the things that I do want to do is I want to have some older industrial properties that were here that are safe for people to live in now I think uh, that is a very complicated thing sometimes sometimes you might convert a an old like hat manufacturer building like a lot of lofts in St. Louis were old clothing from the garment district I'm sure that's pretty true in most places that uh, have a lot of lofts where they were least likely to have very terrible chemicals. You couldn't necessarily live on an old chemical plant or within it probably not good for your health in fact i'm pretty sure that people have and i'm pretty sure that they had some well very terrible outcomes and that is not cool not cool at all so hopefully your guys is week this week or however whatever week since the last time you've been in has been awesome and amazing Mine has has been pretty good. We've uh, been playing some some of that World of Warcraft between roleplay sessions at uh, the GTA roleplay with uh, 404. The new uh, the new WoW season has dropped, and obviously, I am playing that because the new season is here and I think it's pretty fun. Keeps my, uh, hopefully it keeps my memory sharp in terms of, you know, playing keys and whatnot. Uh, we've just recorded this week. You will have already seen it or maybe not. Uh, episode 11. And now I'm recording episode 12. I'm trying to get back ahead now what i've done is i've placed these loft buildings and i'm gonna take a minute here to find some others that i may have i need some stuff that looks a little industrial and then we'll adjust some of this over here uh we'll probably do a little bit of a time lapse or i'll just cut it and then speak about it let's uh let's go so I'm going to convert these to procedural objects and then use my little residential cubes in. Uh, some of them are set up as office and some of them are set up as industrial with my Rico settings. And I don't necessarily want that and I don't want to change them to residential because they might end up in, a, in the middle of a place where you don't really want residential. Which means we're going to have to detail some stuff again, like add the vents and whatnot. But I guess that's okay. Uh, 
it's kind of going for something that I want in this vicinity. Um, we'll address the big mud spot eventually, but uh, until then, I think this is starting to shape up. So we've made a little bit of progress, I think. Maybe a little bit of progress. Uh, I'm assuming that when when this road, this road obviously wasn't six lanes both directions originally. I mean, I don't think anyone could ever have planned for that uh, when maybe they were laying out a city originally that the roads would have to be six, uh, six lanes wide. They didn't even have cars in some cases. <laughs> So they wouldn't even know what a car is or how big a car is or a truck or, you know, uh, 18-wheeler, etc. But I am, uh, I am running with the idea that they widened this for some of the traffic near the freeway. Uh, but also this is original, but they rezoned this. Maybe it was... It just, it needed to be rezoned. And so now suddenly there's this strip mall thing that kind of popped up, which let's, uh, let's make it work. Let's make it work. Uh, these things are an abomination, but they exist. And because they exist, I mean, I guess they're not necessarily a complete abomination. Yeah, they are. They take up a lot of space. You know, it, it's people's jobs, I guess. I mean, am I reasoning out that it should probably be a little more dense? What is going on with me moving things? There we go. I mean, I, maybe, maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. If you own a strip mall... Why do you own a strip mall other than, you know, that was all the craze? I don't know. An appropriate land use would probably be, like, these are little shops. You could you could probably have space up top for office space, right? Maybe. Could be. Could live above the shops, too. Reduce our footprint some. I think three between those spots. That's nine accessible parking spots. It's probably more than what most would ever have so i guess it could be unrealistic i'm just trying to plan for the future you know older populations tend to need more accessibility access younger folks seem to you know have a little bit more flexibility their joints move maybe what we do is we leave you know what we need we need a pizza shop in this place are you hungry? Because I think I just got hungry. <laughs> uh, let's line this up with this edge here. This corner edge. Do something like that. This would be your walkway up there without having to walk between cars. Which, I mean, it's not necessarily a problem for most people. But, you know, it's the parking space. I guess it's not necessarily the building size that is the problem, but the consumption of land for temporary parking has a permanent impact because you have all this concrete everywhere. And then that concrete, all the oil and whatnot from cars, ends up in our storm runoff. Well, isn't that a piece of... <laughs> I'm going to assume that people access this lot from here. Oops. Wrong one. I'm staring at the wrong one. Silly me. Okay, so at least that's kind of there. We'll uh we'll do another pass, but you get the idea, right? Okay, next. So far I've managed to accomplish this. I think it's looking pretty good. We got some, uh, I was uncertain on what to put here. Maybe it's uh, a derelict building. So I made it a derelict building. Use some probable asphalt to uh, lift the 
surface. These are PO buildings that I made. I don't need them to operate. And uh, then it, that allowed me to at least place decals and whatnot. And yes, there's a pair of trees growing through that building. It does happen. That roof, uh, I wish I could punch more holes uh, in a roof, but um, I can't. And I'm pretty sure that residents in this vicinity, since most of these are all now residential buildings, are probably pretty, uh, they probably want the city to do something about this. At least that's, that's what I would suspect. Uh, we did place a fire station right here. Uh, there's some sort of bar cafe thing uh, next to our big construction project. So that, that part is done. Now we're going to work on this other side. We work on this other side and then kind of connect it together. Hopefully we get this all done in this episode. There's a reason why we're not doing some time lapse right now because, uh, you know, <laughs> we don't need an hour or so of a, a thing. I, I'd like to keep it between the 20 and the 30 minute mark. So let's, uh, let's dive in. All righty. I need this to have some semblance of character. I don't know. I don't know why it's got to have character. It just has to have a little bit of character. There was something I wanted right here. Is it this? It's this. Look at that big mud pit. I wonder what will be there. So I say it with a grin. <laughs> uh, I'm going to assume that these buildings were probably lined up with a uh, certain building line. I imagine it as a slightly older part of town. So it's probably a little, a little more dense in terms of its uh, buildings. Uh, May not be as as dense as it used to be population wise. Maybe, maybe it has. I feel like this should be pulled up closer, given that no one probably imagined that this road would be this wide here, and they're just, uh, you know, barely making enough space. Although I need to, the Sims, little characters that walk around, they'll either walk through the building because the sidewalk itself is wide. I mean, I'm okay if they clip the props and whatnot, but they don't really need to walk through the building as they walk down the street. Okay, so a little bit of parking here. Still don't know what to do here. Maybe buildings facing the street and accessory parking. We're starting to get into the very Americanized version where we have a crap ton of parking and we take up a lot of space land wise. I'm trying to avoid doing all the parking on on camera <laughs> because it's a parking lot, right? Like it's just a parking lot. Ooh, what's this? That should be somewhere in the middle. Can I? Aha. I think that's a stock building. Oh, and by the way, today is August 22nd. We had a couple of announcements about uh, some new stuff coming. I dig it, but I don't know if I want that here. We're shopping for buildings, guys. Not to the strip mall yet. We do have a strip mall that's over here. I don't think we need one this close to it yet. We could use the wild pear, I think. I want to get this in somewhere, but... Oh, can I put this here in it? it look okay we could straighten them out are these always do they have a generic enough front they do so i could although those are those are shorties they're not as deep as the other ones get i'm a fan of this this building because it's clean enough to where i could put signage on it uh that is that is this i should have known okay that's that restaurant what about this? Perfect. But maybe what I do... So you see how they're set back? That, That is an amazing detail. 
that they do get set back. They are the same building, but they get set back just enough to where it would technically hold the awning. Cool. Uh, however, I might ditch these and go with that again. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but there's a lot of repeating in cities. What makes them unique are signs and whatnots. Some shared walls between these buildings never hurt anything until you hear your neighbors fighting. Oops. What did I just do? Wow. That was crazy. I... Huh. Did I just discover a keyboard shortcut I didn't know about? Huh. Yeah. Control... Control B for bulldozer. Huh. I never... Apparently, I never accidentally pressed it. But I envision this place having all kinds of bars or something to that effect. You know, it's a neighborhood. It'll it'll have housing here. In fact, I think I know what housing I want to put here. These might go away. I, I don't know. I'm still torn. We do have 33,000 people. And the other day, I was silly enough to leave the game running when I got up to go take an old people nap. <laughs> I say that lovingly, one, because I take naps, and two, yeah, maybe we'll leave that just like that. Cram these buildings here, push the boundaries of the sidewalk. Hmm. Hmm. We'll think on this for a minute. Just a little bit. Not too much. Just, you know, think on it. Welcome to the new reality. A rooftop lounge on top of a Marriott. The Marriott is repurposing, although I, maybe, maybe this, I'm pretty sure this does happen sometimes, but, uh, you know, it's, it's like, uh, Marriott, the loft suites. And while I did this, I kind of built this neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't record it uh, because I just I just started and sometimes when you start you just can't stop you guys know how it is uh, so yeah that'll that'll speed up the episode it'll make us get a little bit further um, yeah so I think what I'm gonna do next here is I'm gonna expand this central piece here in fact we could do it now is that 12 uh, I do want to start getting away from the grid, but I want this to match that because then we're going to use this to ironically break the grid because I want these to continue. So it's nestled with some commercial on the outside. Although one thing I do want to do is I do want to up or downgrade that so they have parking and apparently all of those houses are floating. So let's do this do 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 boop magic kind of might have to uh touch them individually i'm pretty sure there was a maybe i got rid of it okay cool probably should nudge those uh houses a little forward and maybe slightly this way do 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 bing oh and these so huh telling the one group to get to the ground makes this group this is why i picked the this particular house model is because they are fairly individual in terms of their their needs of this gentle slope that we have they're not as impacted by it or i'm not struggling to uh make make them kind of look even and level like i don't mind doing that but you know large swaths of of a city typically are pretty pretty well graded someone spent time grading said city oh look they just moved in yay uh also parts of this uh this area i did make a police station they're either protected or not protected depending on current behavior i guess uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Just like every other city, we are stamping the same house in this particular neighborhood. Copy. Pasta. Now, if only it was just that easy in IRL. Bing. Maybe. 
let's see if we could do th what? that. If we do that, we might be able to uh, get a nice median. Oh, yeah, you're going to want water. We're going to have to water you too, huh? Did you guys water your pets? I did. Oh, look at this. Our water goes long ways. Yeah, we're, we're missing some front yards. Alrighty, now that that's done and their sidewalks aren't buried, uh, let's get into doing some stuff here to border this residential side and maybe wrap up whatever's going to happen here, which I... <laughs> Still don't know. Uh, but these guys need a place to grocery shop. Why? Because everyone needs to have access to food. There are no food deserts allowed. It's a That's a very big problem in a lot of... Uh, I know in the Midwest, we, we do, ironically, being a place where we grow a lot of food, have a lot of food deserts in our uh, urban cores. Not entirely sure why it is other than... I mean, I could speculate... Yeah, I could speculate, and I I would just be very upset with with them, them buying corporations or whatnot. But I also understand businesses have to do what businesses need to do. But um, yeah, people also need food, and they need to be able to get to that food. So I guess it's the city's job to move people around. Hmm. Go figure. Uh, I think we're gonna do this all these. Maybe something like here. Give it a little bit of a buffer. I also need to figure out how I'm going to treat this ground. Uh, eventually, we're going to be adding a highway exit, probably somewhere in this vicinity. So it's not too close to bump into this, uh, which then this would make a little bit more sense because it would be near a highway exit. I guess, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Does that make sense? Not that it needs to be near a highway, but that would be where obviously most of our goods and services are transported via road. And in this town right now, that is a 100%. I did in one episode, which is now this neighborhood up the top, up on the north side. Uh, I scrapped those plans after I had started recording it to make this. And it was a small rail yard, but I just, it, it didn't, no. <laughs> it doesn't exist for a reason. Not my best work. Not my best work. I didn't like the idea. Like, yes, I guess it would make sense to have it near a commercial center, but it just, uh, it caused more problems than what it, what it was meant to solve, if it was meant to solve any problem. Okay, so we'll have our parking lot here. Uh, we'll, ha we'll line a fence on that side so that way it at least helps shield the neighbors from some from some noise of you know car alarms going off by accident. Uh, generally, there's not a whole lot of honking, but you do hear cars starting up, starting up or stepping on the gas to peel out and leave the grocery store because they're like cool and stuff. I don't know why people do that sometimes, but. Uh... Yeah, so that's there. And I was thinking maybe a couple of restaurant facilities because at this point in time, we should be probably moving away from the... What is what is that? <laughs> Apparently, when I'm in the landscaping tool, I see where I have sunk some roads underneath to be, air quotes, underground parking garages. But I was thinking that we would have... Like a couple of, couple of restaurants. Maybe we fit chips in here. Uh, let's see. We could, we could do another big commercial. I just don't know what signage I would put on it. But at this point, we should probably be moving slightly away from the older wall-to-wall -wall type of commercial and start spreading out on the south end. Pizza Hut. I know I wanted a Pizza Hut. I'm thinking I'm probably going to slip a Pizza Hut in over here near like this event center. And then there's a gas station on this corner. I just haven't done it yet. I'm being being a bit lazy. Uh, but then we could do a gas station over here. We need gas. Eventually, they'll all be charging stations, right? Right? 
right? Or maybe we all just work from home. I don't know. I don't know if that is practical either. I don't. I don't know if it's completely practical for most of society to work from home. Uh, we are in a. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's practical. Uh, and then we can line this up with some uh, some other apartments. We could probably do these guys. Push them back a touch so there's parking. So there's those guys, the stuff, the stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's get to town. Okay, so we uh, we didn't get to this part. Which I'm still, I still have to think about what what we're gonna do. I I have an idea, but I don't, I I don't know. It's like one of those things. It, you know, you've got an idea, but you're not entirely sure. It's it's not that I'm not sure. It's that maybe it needs to change. Uh, but uh, we got our retail in which happens to be restaurant row a grocery store and a gas station i do have an idea about this strip here between this roadway and the highway which we'll we'll do in a future episode but um for now it's going to be these trees uh in the future we have to add an exit here and I think maybe next episode we probably build through here or do we start here maybe we start here so I could think about this spot huh huh uh, but until next time thank you for all the likes and the subscribes you can support this video and the channel by hitting that like or subscribing, sharing, and telling your friends, and Patreon. Thank you to all those lovely Patreon supporters out there. You make all of this possible. I will leave you guys with some cinematics and talk to you guys, talk with you, talk at you, talk at a screen, at a microphone. You know, I'll see you next time. Don't let them drive you crazy <laughs> and stay badass.